Hi guys, so for today's video, we're actually going to be following another tutorial online and I'm going to be seeing how well I can make this crochet butterfly by Bella Coco and I will have the video link down in the description box below just in case you wanted to try this out too. So I already have all my materials, at least I think I do. Um, I'm going to be using these two color yarns, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, my needles are in here, and then a pair of scissors. So yeah, let's start the video and let's see how this works. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute butterfly embellishment. I've actually made mine into a little brooch. Oh, okay, so you, you could also use them as, as a charm. For um, either a granny square or any type of project that you've got. So what you're going to need is your selected yarn. I've used two different colours, but you could just use one if you wanted to. I'm using a 4mm crochet hook because I'm using Stylecraft Special DK. You want some scissors and you want a darning needle. So to start off, I'm going to use the Stylecraft Special DK in the colour Wisteria. And what you want to do is make your slip knot. Okay, so she makes a slip knot first. So yeah, let's get started with that. Put everything off to the side. Okay, so I'm going to be using this yarn first. Okay, so I think this yarn... Why did that just start unraveling? Okay, there we go. So she makes a slip knot first. Let's watch that again. There we are. And what you want to do is make your slip knot. She takes it, it goes and around like that. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> there we are. And what you normally want to I start do with a magic ring, so Starcraft Special DK in the colour Wisteria. And what you want to do is make your slip knot for DK in the colour Wisteria. And what you want to do is make your slip knot and insert your hook. Slip knot K okay, in the colour Wisteria. And I'll what come you back want to do once is I get this. make your special DK. And what you want to do is make your slip knot and insert your hook. And you're going to start off by chaining six. So yarn over okay, okay. through for one, two, and then she says to chain three, six. So. Through for one. You're going to start off by chaining six. So yarn over. Okay, and then you want the working end of the yarn. This side. Okay, so now that we have it, she says to chain six. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Pull through for one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you want to take your hook and insert it into the first chain that you created. So just right at the very bottom here. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook in order to make a circle. So you're going to be working into this very centre circle. You want to chain three. One, two, three. Chain three now. And this now. is going to class as our first treble crochet. So remember I'm talking in UK terms, so in the US this is a double crochet. And oh, okay. we're going to do a not double crochet <laughs> next to this. So it's yarn over, insert the hook into that centre circle, yarn over, mm -hmm. pull through, so Sit. you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, you have two loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through two. You're then going to chain two, so one, two, and then we're going to do another set of two treble crochets in this very same centre circle. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and straight into the next one, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, the next one, two, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, 
and yarn over, pull through two, and straight into the next one, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have, remember this first one's acting as a treble, two trebles, chain two, two trebles, we're going to chain two again, one, two, and we're going to do exactly the same thing, so two more trebles, so that's one, and two, and chain two. And you're going to repeat that all the way round until you have eight of these clusters. So we'll class these two trebles as a cluster. So one, two, three, and then you do four, five, six. There we go. Okay, now let's unpause that video Seven. and see so what she does. So meet me on your <laughs> last cluster, pause the video here, and I shall show you what to do in order to do our next row. Okay, so I'm just at the oh, end of my looks round. A lot neater. I've now done it's eight okay. of the clusters. Butterflies are perfect. <laughs> and I've changed two in between each of those. So don't worry if it doesn't look particularly round, like if these two um, chain twos are sticking out slightly, that's not a problem. So I've just done my last two trebles, yeah, she says and then I'm okay going to chain perfect. two, and what I'm going to do is it's I'm going to insert two. my hook into the third chain from the bottom of this original chain oh. three. Oh, wow. So I just insert One, two, my hook three. into the top there, to the top. Over, pull through, and then pull through the other loop. Okay, so she did, let's count. One, one, two, three, and then she inserted it into the top here, yarn over it, and pulled through both. So it's basically creating a slip stitch. There we go. Okay, now what does she do? Hook. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through again. So grab my over and pulling through. And oh, snip okay. Off the and yarn. she's cutting that off. And then pull that out. And just pull that nice and tight. And that is the first step of your butterfly. I'm okay. now going to that grab looks the a little funny, and but show you where okay. to attach it to do your next round. For the second round, I'm using this uh, light pink colour here. Using a light I pink, the name, I'm using so I'll leave a the details in light. the description box below, but I think this is called Candy Floss. But what you want to do it's like is a light take salmon. your end and you want to insert it between one of your two trebles. So not in the chain two space, between the two trebles. So I'm going to insert my hook in order to pull that so she says not in a chain two space. So I think that means somewhere here or somewhere here. So where does she do it? So I'm going to insert not in the chain two space between the two trebles. Okay, so she does it right here. So I'm going to insert my hook in order to pull that through. Okay. And, and I'm going to pulls... tie that in a knot. This is just the way that I like to do it. Oh. So tie that in a knot. Okay, she quite literally ties and that in the knot. And then pull both of those threads okay. <laughs> to one side so that we can work it in as we're going around. Okay, let's tie that knot. And then pull both of those threads to one side so that we can work it in as we're going around. So insert the hook again, grab okay. the yarn, so she and says pull, pull it those to the side. And oh, okay, so that was fast. So she inserts her hook back again. The hook again, grab the yarn and grab the through, yarn, pulls it through. And you're just going to yarn over and pull through. We're okay. now going to be working into the chain two space. So we're going to be doing six trebles in this here to create our scalloped edge. So you want to yarn over and insert your hook into that chain two space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and yarn okay. over, pull through two. So okay. that's one. This is one. Okay, we do it three times. 
two, three. Do we not do it three times? Four. Oh, okay, we do it more than three times. <laughs> five. I feel like my things are getting six. bigger. Let me and redo that one. Okay, so we need to do it six times. Yeah, this one ended up kind of messy. Let's put that back. Okay, so so far we have three. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, so we're going over, going through. Okay. Put your hook Let's see if she does next. The space between the two travels. So go ahead and insert. Shape. Insert and pull and so through like a slip knot. So she does a slip stitch here. Then you're going to repeat exactly the same thing into the next chain two space. So, okay. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, Oops, pull I pulled through, through three. Two, and yarn over, pull through two for one. And you'll go two. No, we can do that. Okay, there we go. Three. Oh, she goes so fast. Four. Five. And six. You're then going to insert your hook into the space between the two trebles. So insert the hook, grab the yarn. Oh, she's just and pull going. It through. Okay, one, two, and three, three four, five. I need to do one more. Stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around, and you'll six. end up with. Eight of these. She goes in between. So work your way round to the end and I'll show you what to do to attach to here. So if you want to pause the video and I shall meet you back in a moment. Okay so I've just finished my eighth scallop and it looks a bit like a flower but this is going to be really clever. Oh okay wow okay. <laughs> okay so this is my chain two so I need to go into here now and do my little slip knot. There we go. I'm going to you back once I have finished the last one. Okay, so now I finished all eight. Let's see what she does. And um, how this actually comes together. So now what you want to do, instead of just inserting your hook where we usually have, you're just going to insert your hook into um, the top of this stitch here. That okay, so she goes into this one, which might be a little chump. Oh, okay, there we go. It was already created. So you want to yarn over and then pull through both loops on the hook in a slip stitch in order to attach those together. So now that we've attached, you want to chain eight. So one, okay, chain eight. two, three, four, five, oh, she's going fast. six, seven, eight. And what we're going to do is take this and we're going to fold it in half. Oh, okay, so that's how we make our so little make sure butterfly. So make sure you fold it, you fold it away from you rather than towards my... you, just because we want the side that's facing you to be on the outside. So fold that in half, and you'll notice that you'll have two wings on this side and two wings on that think, side, or two parts. I think we do something like this. And make sure that the back is the same as well. So what you want to do now is turn the work around yep and then turn it around again until you reach the original space that we'd just done the chain so this was the base of the chain and you want to insert your hook into the chain it can be a little bit fiddly so insert your hook into the chain oh she just means the and yarn chain as a whole and pull through okay to create a slip stitch and you're going to yarn over and pull through again in order to tie this off. So you okay, want to so she does that. cut your yarn 
and pull that through. So you want to go that and pull through again in order to tie this off. So you want to cut your yarn okay. and pull that through. And what you will have then is your butterfly shape. So I'm just going to snip these threads off here because I worked these into the work. If you didn't work them into the work, you will need to sew them in. Okay, I will also sew and these off. I'm going to take this thread and sew that in. Okay, there we go. These are all scrappies. <laughs> and so, look at our little butterfly. Work. And yep, now we need to sew this one. So let's do that. And you can just play around with this to get it sitting how you want it to sit. But essentially that is your butterfly shape. It's really cute. So to make this section here, all you need to do is take a small piece of yarn and tie a knot in one side. Okay, let's see if this will go through my dirty needle. Get it as close to the edge as possible. Um, okay, she's going to make a little... What's it called? A little antenna. And I feel like that's kind of optional. It's like if you want your butterfly to have antenna, you can add it, but you don't have to. There. Okay. But because that's not quite close to the edge is what I like, I'm just going to snip off the end and then do exactly the same to the other side. So I think I'll cut it right here. I'm going to go quite all the way to the end just because I don't want it to be that long. So snip that off. And then all you have to do is hook it underneath. You can tie it, but I find that it alters that relatively the even? placement of where they're going to be. Butterflies aren't perfect. So that is your little butterfly. You can either leave it there or... Okay. Let's see, how does she do this? Always hook it underneath. You can oh, okay. tie it, but I find that it alters. She just drags it through. Of where they're going to be. So that is your little butterfly. You can either leave it there or okay. you can attach it's like a flimsy <laughs> pin to the back. And it's cute. You can I think her tutorial is actually pretty good. Um, you just know how to do slip up knot because that took me honestly the longest. I was right about that being the hardest part. This is so cute. <laughs> I love the little wings. They remind me of crocheting lace. Let's see. Pop this one a bit more. There we go. <laughs> okay. She finished, and I think I'm done too. That was a really good video. I'll give that one a like. But yeah, thank you. For watching and be sure to like subscribe comment and share if you decide to also try this out leave a comment down below saying that you did and even go leave a comment on her video saying how good of a video it was so i will see you guys again um, next week for another video i think next week's will be a little bit different and not a craft video so it might be another lifestyle one but we will see i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you next time bye